हेलो डॉक्टर अर्पण आई एम डॉक्टर हरप्रीत सिंह एंड आई रिप्रेजेंट टीम कंसेप्चुअल ऑर्थोपेडिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन ऑन पासिंग योर प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम विथ फ्लाइंग कलर्स एंड आई नो योर पेरेंट्स वुड बी रियली प्राउड दैट देयर सन इज नाउ अ प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन यस सर थैंक यू सर सो टेल मी अर्पण टेल मी द नेम ऑफ प्लीज टेल मी द नेम ऑफ योर पेरेंट्स एंड व्हाट डू दे डू sir my uh, father's name is mr vijay kumar mishra he is a uh, teacher in uh, kendra vidyalaya school and uh, my mother is uh, mrs surita mishra she has passed away she is not there not there anymore hey, but i know she must be smiling up from heaven and really proud feeling really proud of you today yes. uh arpan uh, tell me uh, what fascinates you most about uh orthopedics that you have decided to spend your whole life uh with this branch but actually uh, i was very fascinated by surgical branches and in surgical branch one such branch where uh, we get a combination of everything we can see opd patients in opd we can see uh, we can do the surgeries and we can manage both as per our schedule Uh, so and also the growth aspects my financial aspects are all great in this field so com- it's like a combination of everything so that's what fascinated me to enter this field and okay. all, i also uh, want to someday uh, build my own institute so this is one such branch which can give me that uh, like uh, 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 that opportunity Which can allow yes, sir. Which can give me an opportunity to build such things. Okay, great, great. So, uh, tell me, how has Team Conceptual Orthopedics been a part of, of your journey? I have taken uh, Conceptual Orthopedics during the starting of my first year only. So, all throughout my residency, everything like uh, whenever I used to go uh, to the cases before one day night, I used to. uh read whatever uh, cases are being planned so in that things uh, the surgical videos and the videos on the uh, uh, on the app that describe the procedure and uh, theoretical aspects of the surgery everything uh, in that aspect it was a great help sir, for, from conceptual orthopedics all throughout residency 3 years okay and uh, in specifically for your oski and your practical exam how did how do you think the our offline courses were, were of any help to you yes sir the offline course i did that oski course uh, in uh, january uh, that was a great help uh, that like uh, it uh, gave us a head start in the preparation of oski and uh, in for the theory also i had read from uh, mainly from conceptual orthopedics i was focusing on the 10 years of dnb and uh, in that the uh, theory book and uh, the uh, theory lectures there are very, uh, almost whole of the 10 years is covered in conceptual that helped me a lot during my preparation okay okay great to know that uh, we could help you uh, but again i as i always say that the hard work is done the real hard work is done by the students we can only guide you show you the path but you have to walk through that path and uh, how, what do you plan for your future anything you have planned for your future currently i am trying to get into a senior residency of uh, some government institute they are also conceptual help me a lot like uh, recently i gave the senior residency exam of sadarjan and pgi lucknow uh, okay. and i prepared from mcq book of conceptual orthopedics and i got a lot of questions directly from there uh, that was a great help so uh, later i want to go into private practice and trying i'll try to build my institute great i with your hard work and the kind of dedication you have i am sure that you will succeed in whatever you think you want to do uh, any tips for your juniors anything any advice for your juniors how should they approach their residency how should they prepare for their exams 
sir one thing i would like to uh, tell like uh, people uh, uh, what they used to do is uh, they won't study for all three years they will keep the uh, uh, study part later in the last time of third year that becomes very difficult uh, because orthopedics is a vast subject and they try to cover everything in last one or two months and then they try to pass uh, that's a very difficult thing considering the ongoing uh, question papers that are coming in both uh, theory and oski uh, they are asking almost everything and uh, so it's better to keep reading uh, throughout the residency and uh, that's where conceptual helps a lot and uh, really also the, yes also uh, they should do the offline courses uh, they give a head start like P, uh, pg course and uh, uh, this uh, oski courses that helps a lot uh, i think a really good advice that residency or the whole career of orthopedics is actually not a 100 meter sprint it's a marathon specifically in your residency is a 1100 day marathon and it's not it's the hard work the consistency the perseverance you put in over those 1100 days that shows in the exams and the later part of your career so yes. thank you arpan thank you for spending and sharing the time with us and i hope that you will be you continue to be a part of the family of conceptual orthopedics and you will help us teach and educate the future orthopedic surgeons of india and all across the globe yes sir. thank you sir thank you arpan thank you very much